And we're back in the mean streets of Ilminster. Ilminster, as Bethany just said. For anyone who doesn't know, Ilminster is a small village outside of Yeovil, like between Yeovil and Chard, if you're local to the area. Um, and it is also home to Alice Templey, her studios, where they make and design all their designs and dresses and bridal in-house. Do you know that? I did you, know that. You did know that, obviously. Oh, I did, yes. Cause... I don't want to be a smarty pants, but I knew that. Well, only because she is lo- a local person now. This is a Whistles coat. Now, so, Whistles is one of those brands that is hit and miss in terms of the reselling world. Um, a lot of people put it up cheap, so it sort of sells cheap. cheap. However, coats are still one of those things that really keep their prices. Specifically ones with good com- uh, composition, like wool or cashmere or whatever else. Yep, this is Morgan. Morgan's really cool at the moment for its Y2K, you know, like... Um, Kind of vintage vibes? Yeah, look at the prices just on T-shirts of Morgan. Um, really great one to pick up if you find it. The more Y2K, the better. Going back to Bristol's Coats briefly, yeah, if you can pick up Whistle Coats for like about 10 to 15 pounds, you can hit the 100 pound mark quite easily if they're like a solid everyday wearer coat. Yeah, I agree. Especially in bigger sizes. They got to a 16, I believe, Whistles. Yep. Um, I thought this print was fantastic. I don't even think it was leather. I didn't check. Only I checked. It reminds but me it of sort like... of like hunting in the 80s. In Dynasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the mean streets of Dallas. Yes. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, I, 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 I went back with this coat. We didn't end up picking it up. Um, there was nothing wrong with it, a little bit of 2D bobble and so on. Um, but to be honest, we are quite coat heavy. We've been, we've been aware that winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter's coming. i got to stop doing that. Um, I actually, so we, I did actually, pick, um, we didn't pick it up, but we have a lot of coats at the moment. But it's, it was a bargain. I think it was like seven quid. Yeah, and I thought it was uh, it was a small I size. I was sat on the floor then. I I'm was. Sorry. I would sit on, sit on the floor. But like cross leg, you know? I really would. Uh, these are some Hush trousers. You know, I know Hush is a, one of those brands that people are sort of like edging away from at the moment they're not selling as quick or as pot as popular as they once were in the pre-love market however i still find jeans and trousers whiz out so i do look at jeans and trousers they were £3.50 on reflection i probably should have got them but you know we're in the first shop i was pacing myself i was getting ready for the long day ahead or was i mistaken you might be mistaken. Um, yeah, tr- <laughs> true. Um, no, do you know what? I think her stuff has always done well for us. Um, and I can only, like, I know people say different things do well for them, different people, different people say things do like bad Rohan for them. Rohan does really awful but, but, for us. Like, honestly, I like anyone, I, like, I know lots of people rave about Rohan, but it, it never does well um, for us. Once again, I think you know everyone's entitled to, to their own opinion on something. But and also, do you know what? Because the end, the end money for Rohan isn't like that hundred pound mark, and not only after those large sales, but I can't spend my time getting three or four items and hoping for the best. Do you know? I also find a mean? lot of women's Rohan and women's Rohan. I don't think has the selling point men's Rohan does. Do you, do, I think actually due to the fact where we are in the country, we're obviously very country esque. We find much more women's than men's, and maybe that's I, something to do with it. I find do loads you know I mean? of women's. It does my head in. Whereas maybe the men's are better sell i'm saying maybe 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 we'll dabble maybe we'll pick it up who knows you'll know first because you watch what we do yep. on a daily basis um we are in coat season we are in quarter four so coats and knits are always our go-to first i would recommend if you only have a short amount of time Wipe. or you don't do women's traditionally i would just go straight to coats and knits um and see if you can find anything wonderful barber here that's a quite quick yeah. oh how much is that 20 yeah and it was quite like I don't know. It, it, it was very, a bit limp. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, quilted ja- quilted jackets. They always will, will do okay, but I will say people expect a nice, a kind of nice quality when they're buying a quilted jacket from Barber. So to have one of these ones which kind of hangs off you because it's been washed like several mm. thousand times. I just don't think that's a great selling point. No, I agree with you. Um, if you're looking at barber jackets, wax ones are obviously the best, leather ones, anything like that. But the more quintessentially qu- country, the better. These are uh, Sperry or Spirit, depending on how you say it. I think Sperry. Um, these are was one of the classic boat shoes. These were like burnt or marked. Like, it wasn't I think just a that's mark, like mark. Um, the rust from the rivet. It, it could be actually, you know. Um, you know when they sit in storage or in a garage and it, it gets a bit... Um, yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I haven't done comps on this because they, they are, when people say they're all over the place, they're anything from like 130 new to like £20. Yeah. Uh, I didn't pick them up because they were marked anyway, but if you see them cheap enough, grab them because you can always make a few pounds on them for sure. Now, I said, now I'll take full credit for these boots. I said, no, look at me holding that hat. By the way, if anyone finds a really fluffy, massive 90s hat, hook me You're up. You're all in. Um, 
I said no to these boots. I did. You you sassed me about these boots, didn't you? They were twenty pounds, and you know what? I thought they were in the men's section, but they're ladies. They and were I, worn slightly. Don't get me I wrong. I thought like I thought they were a bit boring. And they were biker boots, right? They are kind of as anyone can see, they're biker boots. They're mm. in the men's section. They were ladies, and the biker boot, which is called Gale by all accounts, it comes in suede, it comes in new book, uh, comes in loads of different finishes, like half and half, uh, like like proper polished leather, mm. and they sell for like a hundred up. I was. I think they were twenty pound in fairness. Twenty. Um, so it wasn't like a, you know a cheap, cheap, cheap sale. But by the same token, last five x. If you get a hundred, soz babes. It's okay. I'll, I'll let it go. These are really good. These are normally like free samples or like Christmas gift sets. What that's what I call them. Um, but you get a little sample of the aftershave, and then you get some of the you know the stuff that no one else uses, it, and they just throw away or it goes off and a, you draw. A Christmas time, you think I'm going to use that because I like the smell, but then you don't use it because you have the other products that you use. But nonetheless, it is what it is. They go, they go for a couple of quid. Uh, it was literally two pound. It, to be honest, it's not my kind. If of, you can get bulk, though, I was just going to say, if you can buy like, if you see a chunk of them somewhere, great. But for two pounds for one, it's just a lot of effort for not a lot. This is a prime example of those brands that are sort of losing a little bit of favour in the reseller world. Uh, new label mint velvet. This is a lovely jumper too. It is a lovely piece, and it's a very like wearable thing, a thick knit this time of year. And I think even though the the brands like Hush, Mint Velvet, Toast, even to a degree, have sort of fallen out of like reselling favour, I think if you can buy like good solid products that people want, yeah, does that make sense? No, it totally does. Coats, I, I, was, knits, I was just thinking about what jeans. you said, and actually. I think each brand, which makes it even harder for a new reseller, I guess, in, in a way, but it's just about research, I guess, end of the day, is um, knowing what that brand is known for, but also popular for at that specific time. Mm. For example, if you check the Toast website at the moment, they're still very utilitarian. They're still very kind of heavy cottons, almost like linen feels. Um, uh, but but two, three, four, five years ago, it was a very different look on Toast. Mm. It was more contemporary looking then. Interesting. This little shop is a emporium now, secret, and I'm gonna let you into a secret if you can find it then and you're local to this place. Go we'll see. This is the secret. At the back of this shop is a little section. It is like a sort of like local artists, local producers, makers. But at the shop at the back of the shop like is emporium. a section. And it is all mulberry. And Vintage. this is the personal collection of Monty and Roger Soul, the founding members of Mulberry themselves. So there's a lot of different eras of Mulberry here. And there's also some... They used to own Kilbercourt, which is a designer outlet emporium, which is now closed. But they had Paul Smith there. They had uh, Windsor London, etc., etc. Well, Mulberry's open there, but like yeah. the whole... Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. And there's a toast there as well. So you find those sorts of brands as well on the back rail, all pre-owned, um, unusual pieces. This is from the... The, uh, late 90s team collection which was inspired by sailing um he did a lot of car racing that kind of thing it was kind of yeah. weatherproof collection sorry to interrupt you i was going to say it was just because it was, it was in my eyes eye line it was kind of when polo sport for ralph lauren there they all are that's monty and that's roger um they their son own uh, the bottle top company as well yeah, the bottle cop. They got a Region Street store, um, which they make bags out of bottle cop tops and like ring pools and things like that. Load of Mulberry belts and different finishes, different um, textures of leather. It's honestly, if you're looking to buy yourself something, it is really cool. There's it's, a lot of cool items there. All the Mulberry stuff is really reasonably priced. All the other stuff is a little bit pricier. And it's funny because obviously the Mulberry stuff was all their personal stuff. So they see it as like there's either worn this. out or, yeah. there, you know. There's quite a few, like, I, I think I show a couple, but, um, and we have a few anyway. But there's quite a few pieces from like 93, 94. That kind of year when he was kind of head of the company, if you want, owned the, the company. And he did these, like Bethany said, these special car yeah. races that they would attend. Um, he was actually one of the first guys, I've said before, um, to really push Tesla. Before Tesla yeah. was Tesla, um, in the in the UK, he had rallies with like these so-called electric cars at the time. It is a good place, though. We, we kept it in. It's a good place to learn labels, learn vintage labels from these brands, see what the, like the going price are in this case but if you like if you go to antique centers or dress agencies you can get a bit more of an inkling of pricing etc and also if you're to fill your personal collection um it's good isn't it yeah um i'm just looking at these that's I, a margaret howe blouse see for example but that was 35 so there wasn't much in it for us personally th this the, what i'm holding here I'm actually, I'm actually looking for for myself i like vintage piece i don't wear a lot of this stuff but i kind of collect more than wear it if you know what i mean mm -hmm. um it's kind of the fabric that you'd get a polo shirt in 
but it's like a long sleeve, as you can see, like a long sleeve sweater if you want, or, or t-shirt. But it's the spell on the back which gets me in. Because you don't see a lot of it, and a lot of this stuff would have been kind of just, not necessarily just samples, but, but kind of like one-offs. And like this hacking jacket is amazing. That's not my cup of tea, like as, as, as an everyday wearer, but that's amazing. Yeah. Like it's, a full, it's full tweed. Um, obviously, you've got the leather patch there, silk lined. Like, it's just lovely. These labels Warm, are you know? predominantly 90s as well for anyone out who's interested in Mulberry label. And once again, um, if you know the history of the company, he got kind of ousted of the co from the company and it kind of all hell broke loose. But the, all these products are from the era he was there and it makes total sense if, if you kind of, if you're aware of the history, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And uh, do you know what? They, they, well, like I said before, they are good money. Um, in terms of a flip, I, the only thing I will say about this particular sh shop is after a few visits now, they're not replenishing. No. Um, so I think this it's like going to dwindle. They've got all the mulberry fabric. This is all mulberry fabric, all off cuts or um, ex display pieces from Mulberry Home. Um, there's a so for example, that's two fifty. Bit pricier for the condition of the piece um but like the t-shirts i'm looking at now they were like two for 40 so 20 each you're going to get 80 to 100 back per piece because you can't buy these pieces but once again that's a 93 yeah america you can't buy them in scotland in the uk no. like they're, they're yeah. harder to find pieces for collectors and they're a big huge collector's market for mulberry one of the biggest yeah don't um, don't 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 kind of think that uh, mulberry is just about what's out now contemporary and the newest thousand pound handbag they're a massive 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 collectors heritage brand like burberry yes. but more low-key uh, yeah, exactly that. They just opened a string of stores in Hong Kong, um, in the Asian market. So it's a really growing um, company, brand. Yeah, brand. yeah, yeah, is, yeah you know what sure. I mean. Um, but going back to the, the, the red bag on the table we had a look at earlier, originally it was like 130 or something or 125, whatever it was, and it's now 90, 95 or 85. I don't even remember. But that's that's a steal. That bag in the right hands can go for probably, I don't know, to, if you, if, I'm saying this is steel for you know, to pick up personally. What, 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 what current retail on one of those bags? Find one, Three, firstly. 350. Yeah, you know. And you may be wondering why we didn't pick it up. Um, because I have three of them. In different colours. Um, and... <sighs> It's just, I, mm, yeah. That's not a brag. That's the fact that we've been, do, we've been, we've been in and around Mulberry for a long, long time. Yeah, I'm and, a bit I'm, funny honest, about Mulberry. Like two of those, we got very, very, very cheaply. They weren't. It wasn't as if we've gone in and paid five hundred pound when they first came out. Mm. They've been out for years and years and years. They're from the nineties, but it's something we do collect. So it's something we're we're aware of. And as I say, if you're going in to pick yourself one up and you don't have one, that's a good price. Yeah, and I also find in quarter for us personally, I don't know if anyone wants us to talk about this in further detail, whatever, we specifically corner certain markets of the luxury world, uh, newer tags, handbags, newer tags, accessories, newer tag shoes, etc., things like that, that are really like high on the list of gifting. Yeah, I think once again, like, I, I, I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I, I left this clip in because this is a shop that sells Josie. Ribkoff and Austin was in shock that it was £189 reduced to 99 or so This blue top just just down here on the left, if you see that, 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 that is Joseph Ribkoff. And honestly, anyone who like laughs at those blouses or those those dresses in store understands you now when they shock, resell. You? You like, honestly, I was like, £189. Like, do you know what you can get in like, uh, like even like, I don't know, like flannels, what, like it depends on what your, your, your steez is, but like flannels for £180, £190 now. We've travelled. We have travelled to Yeovil. So this, this just quickly, this is an overall print. This is from the Mountain Company, I think, Mount, the Mountain. Um, this isn't, obviously, because it's a printed inside, but the Mountain do loads and loads and loads of vintage, like, um, uh, tribal wolf um, tattoo-style T-shirts. Um, and they're very, like, mystical. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Very, like, you know what mystical. I mean? Mystical. Yeah, like... Very, I, I like that. Yeah? Mystical. Do you understand what I mean when I say that? I'm not yeah. that sounds stupid. Mystical. Anyway, um, like, yeah, that kind of vibe. So um, the vintage ones can go for a lot. I, I think, like, I don't know, the last one we saw was maybe, I want to say 99, 2000. I went for about 60, 50, 60 quid. They're not huge amounts of money, but they're good if you're picking them up for three or four quid. Happy days, you know? 100%. Your foot just went up and I thought it was a creature. 
Uh, that's just my foot. Uh, off screen. I've been not called a lot screen. of things in my time, and my body parts have been, you know, called things also. But that isn't one of them for my foot or a creature. Do you know what we Yeovil? We haven't been to Yeovil since our first ever. Oh, this is Wall London. Wall London's discontinued. Such a nice silhouette. That I mm, a little bit regret not picking that up because it is quite fabulous. Isn't I feel it? like we watch our videos just saying we regret what we didn't mm. pick up. That's a Largan sort of Largan look. I describe it as Largan look, oversized, very art teacher. Oh, here's some comps. Forty pounds. That was five pound fifty. So there's some good money there. There is. Yes, there is some good money there. Do you find wall, wall um, goes up quickly though? Uh, not particularly, in my personal opinion. So this is a bootleg Moschino. Um, I guess the the gold lettering, as you all know, from belts and handbags and hats and whatever else. Um, this from the cabinet. I asked to have a quick look, just to kind of well for video purposes really. Um, they never made an item like this. They don't make a wash bag like this in this color or in this well, kind of textile. The hardware is cheap. Um, I, 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 but by the same token, I will say it was six pounds fifty. Uh, no, they shouldn't sell knockoffs. They didn't know it was a knockoff. Um, Oh, I thought they didn't know it was a knockoff, I should say. And then she, as soon as I said, can I have a look? She went, oh, it is fake, by the way. I was like, you know what? A few quid for something, which if that's what you want to carry, cool. But I think 650 for something that is openly just... No, it's not, it's not even that for me, but like... Why is it in the cabinet? Just like just put it on the shop floor and let someone buy it. Because when it's in the cabinet, you think it's real and you I, think it's going to be expensive. I was just going to say, by default, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mind thing, isn't it? That if it's in the cabinet and it's Moschino from afar... It's like a. That's why it's there. It's a double edged sword because one, I don't think it should be sold. Two, it is illegal to sell it in any retail premises. God, we're so boring, aren't we? But yeah, it does sound a bit boring. But I also think it's been produced now, so just let someone in, like wear yeah, it. Yeah. Don't like pretend it's something it's not. This is a new label, Boss by Hugo Boss, two piece suit, women's wear. It's mad, you know. Hugo Boss women's suits do really well. Oh, do they? They do. Do you remember that bla that black? Ja Why are you shocked? <laughs> Yes. That black jacket we had, which was like a really Oh, that weird... was gorgeous, yeah. though. Yeah, that was gorgeous. But that was a suit. That went well. Yeah, um, but it was a bit unusual. I would say that's, that's an exception to the rules. This, I found it. It's an APC um, dress. It is cotton. It is crinkly here. Um, it needs a, it needs a wash. It's it like, needs a steam uh, also. I'm going to keyword utility and sort of like that kind of thing. Um, tunic that, dress. That, it's actually what APC are known for. Um, not a lot of people know, but that women's wear is very, very, very utility style. They, they're very like, um, that's the exact dress in oh, yeah. like, beige. Oh, yeah, how cute. Um, but they are known for that kind of style. What, your utility wear? Like, I, I call it like Parisian country. Yeah. Um, you know, like Breton it's, stripes. It's, it's, a, it's, about, it's about as, um, what's the word you use all the time I take the mic for? You just said it, art teacher. Lagen look. It's about as, as, as Lagen look as a French piece could get. And it's not Lagen look at all, because Lagen look actually means layered. I'm saying like toast, like very, that, okay, that kind of yeah, utility vibes. kind of, yeah, yeah, that exact, yeah, exact, exact vibe. Yeah. Anyway, that's an argument we'll finish for another day. Short but sweet, my friends, short but sweet. But we'll be back and we will be gracing your screens with more picking adventures from us, the luxury pickers. See you soon.